Welcome to MicroStation V8i Select Series 3 Basics. So once we've launched it, the very first dialog we see is the File Open dialog. And you can do all sorts of things just like you're familiar with uh, in Windows Explorer. You can get the, uh, the new file, the most recent file and so on, all the same sort of things. But one additional is the workspace selection. So MicroStation makes it very easy to categorize your work. So we're going to use examples as the user. And for the project, we'll go to building, architectural and mechanical for architectural and electrical for architectural and structural would use this category, building. And we have a number of example files in there that we can look at. But let's go to B S. I 300 AE9 shell. So as you can see, a little thumbnail of it, and open that file. Takes only a second or two, and we're in MicroStation looking at the building file. You can see what it is. It's two buildings, sort of a uh, south and a north wing, or left and a right wing of a building uh, complex or a campus. And uh, whether you're civil or machine design, this is still a good example to start with to get a feel for the way that MicroStation works. Now we're looking at view one, and we can have as many views of the model that we want open, and we can have different models in our file. So you'll notice that it has different models. Make sure, so yours looks like mine, that you have the double building shell composite views model open now to zoom in a little closer to look at it just move your cursor over and if you have a three button mouse with a roller just roll your mouse i had to left click to put focus on this window then roll forward roll back roll forward roll back and you can zoom in and out if you press and hold the middle mouse button you pan your view now there's some icons up here that do roughly the same thing. There's the pan, so you can left click on that and pan, uh, or you can fit the view. This is very important, so that when you've zoomed in and you want to come back, you can fit the view. You can actually zoom in to an area or out, and you can zoom in with this little window affair too. See if I just click and click, but then I go back and fit the view. Okay, but you're going to find the roll in and the roll out to be the most productive and now all the microstation tasks are over here on the left. You can see we can do drawing and drawing composition, we could do solids modeling, surface, even mesh modeling or terrain modeling if you're civil, feature modeling if you're a machine design mechanical person, and then we can visualize with photorealistic uh, visualization or even animation can be used. Let's say in our example that we want to add an existing building to our campus where we're designing these new buildings and we want to add it for context. So we might do it with solids modeling. It'll work for mechanical or architectural or structural, any, any kind of application. You can notice we could do it with primitives uh, or we can do it with a solid by extrusion. Let's use that method because we can come up here and choose the uh, place smart line, click on that tool, and notice where whatever tool we're on, a little tool tip pops up to tell you what it is. So we come over here and we locate our first point, and we notice that what pops up is, uh, in this case, a circle, but I press the space bar and that turns it back to a square, circle or square. That's for Cartesian coordinates or polar coordinates. So we're going to go with Cartesian the square, but notice that that little square is orthogonal with the screen. We want it to be orthogonal with the building structure itself. So if we hit the letter T for top, it puts that into an isometric view, a top view. If we hit F for front, notice we have a front view, S for side. So remember those, those are key. T for top, S for side, F for front, Back to T for top. Okay, so I have my first point placed with the smart line, and I want to draw this leg of the building. 
and I happen to know that it's 25,000 millimeters. This is a metric design project, so 25,000 millimeters in that direction. And then I left click. Notice I didn't hit the enter key. Don't hit the enter key, just type 25000 and then left click with your mouse. And that line right there is 25,000 millimeters, exactly. So then we can go over 15,000, or maybe it was 17,000 millimeters this way. Left click, and we're looking at our blueprints to see all this. Then we're gonna go out the 6,000 millimeters this way. Makes a little jog back. And notice how it kind of soft snaps in the orthogonal directions. So if I want it to be 6,000 back, see that little dash right there? I just have to click is all I have to do. And then go out this direction. Now, what I want to do is I want to line up with that point that I started with. So I get it so it's soft locked. See how that is? I hit the Enter key one time. That says keep going in that direction till I tell you otherwise. So now I can go over to the end point there and snap to the end of that projection and snap again and I've got my floor plan all outlined perfect of the existing tall tower building that we're building our new buildings next to. Now we can extrude our floor plan using the solid by extrusion. Just click on it anywhere. Uh, Notice that the AccuDraw automatically goes to a vertical direction. Slide it up and, and then just type in the height. So if this is, say, 60,000 millimeters high, press, uh, click the left mouse button, fit the view, and we've got it. There's our existing building in context with uh, the new buildings that we're planning to build here, and we can see how it all goes. It may be that our building has taper to the top, and so what we can do is use these uh, Modify Solid Entity tools. Let's click on this one. Uh, we don't want to do a specific distance. We're going to use AccuDraw for that. We can uh, either uh, click on the corner points and stretch them, or the faces and move the faces. We'll use this, which is the Edge tool. And we'll just click on an edge and then drag it up. You see how AccuDraw is right there. So if we know a specific amount, we can key that in or we can just put the taper to it and uh, settle for that. Now that we have our model finished, let's fit the view again. And uh, then uh, we could try several different shadings to see how this would look. Uh, this first icon is View Attributes. You click on that to turn on or off line styles and weights and different things that you want. You don't actually change the model, you just change the way this view is viewing that model. That's the first icon. The second one is uh, display style. So for uh, our working to see it better, we have all these different methods. We could fill hidden line, hidden line, illustration, monochrome, smooth, and so on. Let's try a couple of those. Illustration, ignoring the lighting. That's one that I like because it's a uh, very quick, as you can see, and gives us a nice uh, impression of the model that we have. 